that's really helped my diagnosis and also the treatment that I've received following it. It's really important that if you are asked to come, that you do because it's going to really help. An MRI scan involves the use of a magnetic field and radio waves which generate highly detailed pictures of internal structures and organs and it gives the doctors very detailed imaging from which a diagnosis can be made. In the letter that you receive from the department, it will have your appointment details with where to go, what time you need to be there. It will have a, an MRI information kind of guide to give you a basis on what the process is, what an MRI scanner does and also then it will give your safety questionnaire within that too. If you tick yes to any of the questions, it gives you a contact number to call the department so then they can pull your case notes. We will then ask them about uh, the question that they have and then if need be we'll then investigate further by looking at their medical notes and basically sort of go through a rigorous process of making sure that if there is any issues that they are cleared for going into the MRI environment. In regards to what you can wear, it has to be metal free. You can bring loose clothing which contains no metal so you can wear that in and if not they have gowns here which you can put on. I made sure I got some just joggers and a top with no metal on so I can change into that prior to the scan. We would uh, recommend that patients remove all sort of jewellery prior to the scan. Some wedding rings and, and things we can keep on because they don't cause too much problems but piercings particularly. Um, sort of hair grips, uh, anything which is potential for working loose and could degrade the image quality as well. If you want to bring someone with you, say if you're a bit apprehensive or maybe claustrophobic, there is an opportunity for you to bring someone. Best to contact the department before just to give them kind of a heads up before that. If you go through the main atrium, there is a reception desk there and they can direct you to the uh, radiology department. You go through to the MRI and scanning uh, entrance, which then on the right hand side you'll see a reception desk. They'll confirm your name, address and date of birth just to make sure that they have the right person. And then once they've confirmed that, they'll give you a sticker which has all your details on and also the examination you're having. So you'll keep hold of that sticker and take that through and they'll direct you to the MRI waiting room and book you in and make sure that the staff in the MRI area are aware that you're here. It, it's very reassuring because you're aware that this is definitely, I've got the right details, they know what examination I'm having and they're aware I'm in the department too, so that's nice to know. Either the radiographer or one of our clinical support workers will meet the patients and bring them through to the changing area where we will then check their details and then go through the safety questionnaire and discuss with them any particulars of their scan that they're going to have on that day. And if there are any queries, the radiographer will check through those. But prior to actually entering the scanning room, the radiographer will always have to sign it off. So it's signed by the patient on the day and the radiographer on the day and it's also dated as well. There is a locker which you're allowed to leave all your stuff in so if you've got anything that you want to bring your phone etc which you can't bring into the scanner with you you're able to leave that in the locker and that's safe. We can put all their belongings and their valuables into lockers which are then sealed uh, while they're having their scan done so only the patient then has the access to the, to the locker so their valuables will be kept safe. We try to make the patients as comfortable as possible while they're in the MRI room. We can do this by several means. We can put pads underneath parts of the body to try and take away some discomfort. Uh, we can put pads under the knees. We've got pillows. We've got other foam pads which can be positioned as well. But this does depend on the area of the body that, we're being, that we are examining. When you go into the scanner, they'll give you a safety buzzer and also a set of headphones and through these headphones you'll be able to hear the radiographer speak to you and also the music of your choice if you've brought some in. The patient will have a safety buzzer so if at any point during the scan if the patient feels that they need a help or assistance if they need to come out they can just press the safety buzzer and then we can assist them. I find to get comfy it's best to make sure when you've just firstly you know lay down it, that you are comfortable and they put a cushion under your legs which can help in some scans to alleviate any back pain or anything and just to give yourself kind of a good wriggle really before because after you've gone in you really do need to stay as still as possible. It is important to keep as still as possible when the scan's being performed. 
The main reason for this is it helps to reduce what we call motion artifact on the images. Otherwise we can get blurred images which might need us to repeat that particular sequence again. We'll try and speak to the patient as much as we can. Normally we do this in between the sequences when there's a quiet, quiet time and so not to distract them too much because sometimes we might come over the headphones to speak to them and it might cause them to sort of you know, wonder what's happening. So we tend to give them, do the scan, let them know what's coming up, if, how long the next scan's going to be, just check that they're okay and keep them informed as we, as we progress. The noise in the scanner, it, it's quite strange and every scan has a different sound so it's not the same throughout the whole scan but it's quite repetitive and it can sometimes feel like the, the table's moving slightly, but that's just the vibrations that's coming off from the scanner. But again, that's nothing to be concerned about. That is the scanner getting the pictures that they need. Each scan can be very different in time scales. It can really vary from 10 minutes, anything up to an hour, depending on what scan you're having. And they let you know in between each scan saying, the next scan will last five minutes, the next scan will last ten minutes, etc. If a patient has any issues with being claustrophobic, depending on the part of the body that's being imaged, we can either take them into the scanner feet first. If that's not possible, then they have to go in head first, but we can then sort of explain how everything's going to work, explain to them that we'll give them headphones to keep the noise levels down, and also to allow us to speak to them. I personally wasn't claustrophobic, but I'm aware of friends and family that have been very claustrophobic. It's an open-ended tunnel, it's not, you're not enclosed in an area. And also with the scanner here, they have a mirror so you can actually see your feet out, which can be quite helpful, I think, for people, because you're aware that then there is a, an exit point. You have to kind of understand the, the pictures that they're getting from this will really help the doctors understand what is wrong with you so you kind of need to make sure that you have that in your mind and kind of work through if you do have fears of it because it's really there's nothing to be scared of it's very it's a very safe way of getting images of you and there's you, you won't feel a thing when you're in there. Generally we try to make it as pleasant an experience as possible by explaining what's going to happen at all stages and just try to put them at ease. We go into the MRI room after the examination is completed, bring the patient back out of the scanner and then sit them up. Now some patients can sometimes feel a bit dizzy after lying down so we just make sure that they that any dizziness passes before we stand them up and then walk them out of the room. We take them back to the cubicle where they can get their belongings and then allow the patient to change. Assuming that you feel fine uh, once your scan's done and you're ready to go, you're allowed to leave the department and go home as normal. We explain to the patient that the results will go back to the doctor who referred them. And the results will go back to these doctors as soon as possible. And then any follow-up appointment is coordinated by their respective clinician. Um, these appointment times can vary depending upon the clinics that the, that the doctors run. In regards to getting your results, it does depend again on the scan and its urgency. If you are concerned, you can talk to your consultant or whoever's requested the test. The scan has hundreds of images which they need to look through, so you want to make sure it's done correctly. MRI scanning is very useful because it gives the doctors very detailed images of the internal structures of the body, um, which may not necessarily be seen on other imaging modalities. If you are asked to come for an MRI and you are feeling a bit apprehensive, just think about the positives at the end that you would get from this scan. You'll be able to find out what might be wrong with you or what might not be wrong with you. So it, it's really reassuring to know the outcome of the scan. And also if you are feeling apprehensive, just call the department and they'll be able to discuss the process with you.